Okay, so this particular series is going to be on uh, solving quadratic equations. Now they're going to be uh, with progressive difficulty and this could be quite a large playlist because there's a few videos that I've posted recently on, or a little while ago now, on cross method and that sort of thing. But I just wanted to give you a general overview of the different types of quadratic equations that there are out there that you're going to be asked to solve. Okay, so... Um, um, they actually break down into a couple of different types. Generally speaking, a quadratic equation uses an x squared term. Okay, so because um, if you plot this quadratic equation onto a graph, it's going to have a very nice curve, just like that, sometimes like that, okay? And the, in order to create that curve, you need an x squared term to do that. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of examples of the type of ones that you get. The first one is going to be um, to solve, in other words, find the value, solve, okay, of this particular equation, which is x squared plus 8x equals 0. Okay, well, it's got two terms with it, and one of the things with two terms is that you only need a single bracket, okay, what I mean by that is if you've got three terms, so you've got something like x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0, you're going to need two brackets for that. With this one, you're only going to need the one. Okay, so a bit of a tip there, and I appreciate that's probably not what you've, uh, what you've come across too much, but nevertheless, it's the kind of thing that perhaps you need to be aware of. So with this, what I'm going to do is look at that and say, well, actually, I'm going to take x out of this equation. Now, if I do that, it means that I can take x out and then multiply by a term in the brackets. So what have I got to do to x in order to get x squared? Well, I just simply multiply it by x because x times x is x squared. Okay, so the other thing is what have I got to do to um, x to get 8x? Well, in order to get from x to 8x, what I need to do is multiply by 8 on its own. Okay, now if you want to kind of work backwards with that, I've got x times x, which is x squared. So this times this is x squared. And then this times this is plus 8x. Now that is going to be equal to 0. Okay, well that's going to allow me to solve the equation. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say, well, if this term in the brackets is 1, 1 on its own, if I, if I just forget it and just say it's 1 on its own, then x is going to be equal to 0 because x times 1 is 0. So therefore, I've got two solutions to this particular equation. I've got x equals 0, which is the first bit of it, okay, there. And then I've also got x plus 8 equals 0. Okay, well, if x plus 8 equals 0, then if I minus 8, 8 from both sides, I also get the second solve, which is x equals minus 8. So I've got two values of x on this particular quadratic, which is going to be 0 and x equals minus 8. And they're going to be applicable when y, which is this bit here, is equal to 0. OK, alrighty. So let's have a look at that on a graph. So x is 0 is going to be this point. Here's the point of origin where this is the x and this is the y axis. So x is 0 there. And x is also minus 8, which is going to be down here somewhere. OK, so uh, if I was plotting this graph, I would expect it to cross the x axis at those two points. So this particular graph would be x squared plus 8x. Okay, so that's been a little bit tricky because perhaps you've not come across those before. Uh, you might be more familiar with these types of equations where we've got a double bracket. Now in order to do those, we've got uh, trial and error on this particular video. 
um, where what I'm looking at is two numbers that when I multiply them together will make 10 and when I add them together will make 7. Okay, well, I guess you can probably think of those two numbers because 5 times 2 is 10. So I've got 5 and 2. And also, if I add 5 and 2 together, I'm going to get 7. So actually, this particular uh, equation is relatively straightforward to solve. And I guess the way you'll have been taught it at school will be to do something like this, where you've got plus 5 and plus 2. Okay, um, so I've got two bracketed terms that when I multiply them together will make this equation. And we've been told that that equals 0. Okay, so in other words, if I just want to check, I'm just going to do this really briefly like I did with this one over here. I've got x times x, which is x squared. This is a, a check. Okay. And then I've got x times plus 2 is plus 2x. I've got plus 5 times x is plus 5x. And I've got plus 5 times plus 2, which is plus 10. And all that equals 0. Brilliant. So add those two together. Gather like terms. I'll get x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. Phew, okay, <laughs> good. All right, so the other thing that we need to know is we're going to work out the values of x again. Well, it's exactly the same as this. What we're saying is we've got x plus 5 and x plus 2, or multiplied by x plus 2, equals 0. So if x plus 5 equals 1, if it sort of sums 1 together, I've got x plus 2 equals 0. OK, that's excellent, because it means that if I take 2 from both sides, I can work out that x equals minus 2 is my first value of x for this equation. And for this one, I've got x plus 5 equals 0, so that means x equals minus 5. OK, so with this particular equation, um, I'm going to have uh, something over here where I've got minus 5 and minus 2 and my equation will go just like that. Okay, um, I hope that's okay for you. I appreciate that they're a little bit complex but I just wanted to show you the difference between a two term quadratic which will still plot the same way but it's got two terms in it and therefore you would have kind of one set of brackets and a three term quadratic where you've got uh, two sets of brackets in it and you would solve. Um, I use crab claw which you can see here it's shaped a little bit like a, a kind of a, of a crab claw. There are other people use something called foil um, and you can solve it using the quadratic formula if you wanted to. Okay, um, I hope that's okay for you. Please do add a comment below. You might need to stop the video a couple of times. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions on the comments. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, please do subscribe to the site as well, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.